I just want to know where things went wrong. It's too late. Charles, it's over. Well, what a wild year of ups and downs it has been, Frank. Yes, from injuries to busts, to record setting low scores, and tight races. This has been exciting to watch. I can't believe I'm standing next to the winner. Was there any doubts? I always win. Why are you at the elevator, Nick? Because I'm trying the last ditch effort to get to the top. Nice to see you Matt. I miss you. From what I hear, this elevator doesn't go to the top two floor. You'll be so close. LOL. Guess that sleeper pick didn't wake up on time. Do you want to hear about the website I made? Nice hair Xavier. Thank you. I didn't get a cut since you gave me the gift certificate. I can tell. Oh man, was it nice to know that even if we fought for points at the bottom, there was no way we'd be last place. Thank you Charles. For sucking. Hey Simon, go Habs go. Do you want to look at my man cave? I never say no to a nice man, Paul. You know Simon, we have so much in common. We love the same team. We both were the best losers of the group. Do you think JP will teach us to draft? Not after the dirty punch to the head. Video clearly shows you are a goon. Hey Charles, I thought I'd find you here. Yeah, it's the shawarma from Bank Street. I'm sorry. For the smell. I need to leave. Hey JP. Thanks for meeting me here. Charles said they had great shawarma and I'm hungry. I will skip the food but let's talk hockey now. Any surprises? Some interesting things for sure. The Mac curse is officially over, as he had the least amount of injuries this year. And Nick did make a huge impressive push at the end. Third place is not bad for a guy we laughed at all draft long. Simon looked like a real contender especially around the All-Star game. His team really dropped off in the last stretch. Yeah I was so scared actually. My defense sucked. Thank God for Mac David. Tough for Xavier. He had some great high-end players but his bottom dwellers really held his team back. For guys with less than 30 points is not the key to victory. He was lazy to make trades too. I wonder if that could have helped. Stefan had some bad luck having to trade both his goalies. Too bad for him, he was very well prepared with his binder and his NHL alerts on his phone. And Matt didn't have a bad team, but a lot of mediocre seasons held him back. Most of his team was at 50 points in less. Not enough firepower. Well, just enough firepower to beat you, lol. That's the price you pay for picking Stepniak. Good thing you had Crosby and Carlson though. They were great this year. They should share the Hart Trophy. Yeah my team was not very good. Better than Charles though. Max had a pretty good team but a disappointing finish. Dub Nick was quite the surprise. I love what you have done with your place since you have a wife and a baby. Very classy. You're too kind. Let's make out. Don't you hate these videos because JP makes them when they are clearly biased? Yes I totally agree but I still don't want to hear about your website. So this is the show warm place Charles recommended. Well he said it's the second best place in Ottawa. But as you know, second place is good enough for me. I can't wait for Moss Sport. Why am I in a teenager's bedroom? Get out of my house, you creep. I'm sorry, I'm from Kesselman. Oh, you were Max. I heard about you. How did you let Nick beat you at the end? I have to go. I don't know who you are. Thanks again everyone for taking part in this year's pool. I'm happy to have won, but happier know it gave me an excuse to hang out with all my homies. 
I agree JP. I can't wait till next year. See you in September. Oh you are still here. Are you done? I really need to poo. I don't know if I'm done.